What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Rome Remastered Total War Let's Play as the Brutii. So to round off up last time, uh, we fought a mighty battle against the Greeks and we won um, here in the Halicarnassus, enough for me to feel confident pushing on to Sardis. And then we've also managed to uh, coax some territory out of the Germans, however I doubt they will uh, let us have it for too long before they declare war on us back. So growth in these two forward provinces is at a premium. Um, but in general, things are going rather well. We're expanding. We have an army here that is marching towards Pergamo, which is a huge city. Yeah, generally, things are going pretty well. Um, let's check the building browser. Everyone is building. Some of these forward regions, I suppose, territories like Corinth. You're recruiting a new merchant. Sparta, you can recruit cavalry unit. Athens, you can recruit a... Archer unit just to keep keep pumping units out to shift over towards this front. Thessalonica, I want you to keep growing in order to be better prepared to deal with um, any pushes from Thrace or vice versa. I mean, we may want to push into Thrace. I mean, in seven turns, we've got the objective to take Pergamum, which we can definitely do with this army that's pushing up because there is no garrison question will be can we do what needs to be done to hold it hold it from uh bad public order and the rapscallion is just not wanting to listen to good roman rule because it's a huge city it's tempting to exterminate the population because it will spring back fairly quickly and it's already at the max pop level which means it can build everything i need it to build anyway I mean, exterminating the population isn't good if you want the pot to grow quickly. Um, but because it's a huge city, everything is already ready to be unlocked. So I doubt they're... I, I bet they bribe me. I bet they... Every time. Every time they go after my merchants and I... They succeed. Every time I try to go after theirs, mine fails. So it never seems worthwhile. I bet this Thracian guy gets me as well. Yeah, he has. I may as well recruit an assassin over here to start trying to knock out these guys. So you have an agent here who's going to hop straight on that marble. Ceasefire between the Greeks and Julii. We have a... Titus Brutus isn't a daily. A dale. Flash Flood and Tripoli... Tania, which is nowhere near us. Aquinsum has expanded. Perfect, because then we can build a governor's palace and start to get rid of some of these cultural penalties. And Hyconassus has also expanded, which is excellent. So Linus of Rhodes and Lutgardis of Luvavon. Rhodes and Luvavon. You recruit a new merchant, and then up here at Luvavon, recruit a new merchant. The woman is not happy with us. Let's probably try and knock the tax down. They're probably angry with us for a whole bunch of cultural reasons. Um, Croton. Can't build an assassin. But Tarentum can. Let's start to try and knock out some of these merchants. Although they're Roman, so maybe I won't be able to. Okay, Pergamum is a target. I mean, hit this army. I mean, it's just a unit of Peltasts, but just knock them out. Put Sardis under siege. Two siege towers, two saps. Man the point. Push up. More men as a reinforcement. They can leave without making the town too unhappy. Well, actually, I'm tempted to remove them. No, I can't remove them all. Okay, let's go town watch to maintain some level of peace. Kydonia can't build any town watch of any sort. Let's deposit this army off. They can go lay siege to Pergamum. Okay, we're going to check our construction tab. Corinth has a... Oh, we've already deployed this new agent. Yes. Nero of Corinth. 
Six turns to Pergamum. What are you asking for? Principes. Yeah, we've already got loads of them. A suitable husband. Husband Augustus Popilius. Yes. We've got agent in Bylazora right here. Okay, let's use you to secure our own domestic gold resources, which I've not, I can't believe I've not built a mine there. And we've also got an agent, a family member here. Go to Thessalonica, act as a garrison commander. Let's check our building tab. So Apollonia is growing mightily. Let's probably go for stone walls. Corinth, you can probably go for something fairly quick because you're about to pop to the next level anyway. Cardonia, get a shipyard because you want to get lots of trade routes. Sparta, probably the same, another ship rate. Then let's keep... Yeah, you're unhappy about me moving, removing some of your garrisons. I'm going to... Uh, Deploy more town watch. I don't want to just send them straight over yet because that will put them at risk. And you're still building, you're still building, you're still trading. Oh, yeah, you're trading. Sail along the coast, spot all of the important points. Path blocked. Not anymore. Good stuff. Let's hit end turn. Uh, one of my generals is moving back. Oh, I didn't move my assassin like I could have done. As the Julii diplomats continue to scour the map. The Greek cities have pulled back, but the merchants moving forward. Hello, there's an army we could go after, and there's a, there's a uh, a family member that my assassin could bonk on the head. Who's star commander? Who is he? Two threnies of Phoenice. I mean, I'm trying to... Assassin ready. Assassin ready. How does one... I'm right-clicking, and it's not doing anything. I'm left-clicking, it's not doing anything. Okay, let's open up the wiki. Oh no, you guys can't see the wiki. Um, okay. Oh, I have to do it down here. Well, that's the guy we want. <clears throat> that's how well it went. Well, all I can ask is, you may be in the firing line and there's nothing I can do about it. But that might not be a problem when I take Sardis. But I mean, ultimately, that's not a... I'm just going to water as all of that. Let's enslave the population and we've got the Temple of Artemis which reduces the cost of religious buildings by 30% which is lovely so these chaps can all do a bit of reinforcing don't think there's any more Praetorians that can help out so you can exit while I send in a fresh Hastati unit I can probably merge bit of cavalry together. Send in another Hastati unit because that's a bit more useful in the city than cavalry is. So Sardis, Sardis, Sardis. Let's demolish your Temple of Hermes. Get straight on a shrine to Juno. This army can assault Pergamum because they have catapults but again because they it's their faction leader in there but it's a unit of armoured hoplites and just hoplites. This is not a... no. 
So I want to exterminate the population of Pergamum, it being a huge city. Obviously I had no, I had no agent here. Oh, this per merchant is now ours. Let's use them to secure textiles. Silver. Wine seems to be the more useful resource. Well, let's smash down the Temple of Aphrodite. And similarly, let's first let's repair buildings and let's build a shrine to Juno. We do, this does give us access to urban barracks, which doesn't do anything seemingly because we don't have the Marian reforms. Sardis, you need to repair your stuff and replenish your troops. Pretty ricky tick because we know what's coming. You guys deploy to Rhodes because we've now we've now claimed this ocean. So let's spread our <laughs> spread our ships out to command the entrances to the seas. Thermon has grown. Let's give Thermon a forum. Larissa in the center can get a dockyard. Athens to the south has grown and can get a pro consul's palace. By Lazora to the north, you can get walls and an upgraded barracks. Roads to the south, you can get walls to better defend yourself. Love of them to the north. Probably communal farming to try and boost the pop to get stone walls. And let's also move our garrison up. We have a new merchant in Love of them. No way. Great. If I try to clear this guy off from the wine, I will die. Same as these guys monopolizing my silver. Let's go claim that gold. Also got my assassin in Corinth. So who's this? Ketriporis of Byzantium. I don't want to sabotage anyone. I want to. <laughs> I could kill. <laughs> Try to kill the Julii. Julia. Oh, I can kill. 95% chance. So long, merchant. Let's get ready to go after these guys as well. This, day, on my word. This, is the, this is the Scipio faction leader as well, right here. Okay, you've checked our. Construction tab, everything's good. You men deploy troops. Can Athens recruit some principes? To be honest, principes in general are quite useful because we've now got a good amount of, well, a couple of major walled cities where um, those, the armored infantry will be very useful to actually hold positions. Yeah, so we've assassinated that priest, that merchant, we've slaughtered Pergamum, we've taken Pergamum, and we've got a new ship. Quinquireem, Quinquireem. It's got a decent navy we're getting built up there. Two new merchants. So we've got that, we moved that guy. What's got this guy who's claiming the wine near Egypt? Well, they're under siege by someone. Oh, this this guy was killed my assassin, so we know Corinth is growing. Actually, no, we don't. Get the pro consul consul's palace in the queue. We know that Athens is grown. Good. Let's hit end turn. Exploring navy is continuing their expedition. The Julii can continue to trend and sell their trinkets. The Greeks are coming for Sardis. Scythia, what do you want? Dear friend. Ooh. An alliance with Scythia. And their enemies with Thrace. Yes. Our thanks. Because you want to move on Thrace? And then we can send 
our troops and men east and north. So we can send Thessalonica Garrison east to hit Byzantium and then march north to take Tillis and these guys can march north to take Polarissum. Good. Ceasefires. Faction announcements. Our assassins got better. Waiting for orders. So who do I want to kill? Tertius of Patavium. <laughs> no merchants on my land. I don't like the fact that they're marching down here. But I don't think they attack you first. Blockade port Nicomedia. What did it say we get? We will be greatly rewarded. Well, we can immediately blockade them. So here comes a Greek army full of armoured hoplites. I don't think there's a huge amount I can do, bar boost the troops nearby to help out. Uh, hmm. Murderer. Oh yeah, that was our our like capture. I would I would like you to have a go. Pokemon, you guys can rebuild. Let's start to train a stack of town watch to take position. In Pergamum, actually let's Okay, building tab. Always forget. Croton. Croton can build a get a large stone wall. Suggestica can only build a market. Salona build a blacksmith. Alakonassus can build Let's put some military buildings first and then take a port on behind that. Sardis hmm got a port because the Greeks are coming. This army may need to sally to go hit them in the future, but I would like them to attack me because I haven't had a proper siege defence in some time. Okay, you can stay where you are. You can stay where you are. Actually, you can probably leave. Keep an eye on what's going on up here. We've got a lot of inactive fleets, and that's okay. Inactive spies as well. Spying mission success, but let's hit end turn. Hello, is that Numidia? It is. Fleet ready. Continue to sail. Aye, aye, Captain. Here comes our agent back to secure the gold. It's a lot of Germanian armies there. That's why I definitely want to fortify love of them when I when possible. It would be very nice if the reforms could pop. Ooh, they've hit my small army. Um, you guys retreat. I want them to go for the city. That's my priority. Here comes more Thracian mer merchantmen. Awaiting your command. Securing resources. Here is my assassino. So who's this guy? Diopus of Tilis. Bonk. Oh no. Damn, they got him. Marriage celebration, excellent. We found a spy in Bidazora. Numerius Maxentius. You're pretty handy. Senate mission successful. Got 5,000 denarii. Right, okay, that's good to know that the guy's up in Aquinsum. You can march him over to the love of them to take command of the garrison. Get rid of all these. 
Brutians keep at war together. Julia and the Greeks are have declared a ceasefire. That's okay. So if these guys fall back, Tarlik and Assis, let's see if they do go for the city. There's probably not much of a chance that the army can leave. Ooh, there's a chance. If we keep up the town watch recruitment, we can actually march these guys up to go hit Nicomedia. But I want to see what these guys do. They can't cross and hit Pergamum, fortunately. Let's check the building tab. Darentum. Marchstone walls. Apollonia. Sewers by now. Pydonia, let's get you some Palisades. Thessalonica. Let's get you some walls. Sparta, let's get you highways. Aquintum to the north. Walls and the barracks. Good. Love of them. You can't you can, you can start to recruit some decent troops at last. 3% pop growth rates, 3% pop growth rate here. Good. Okay. My spy to Ankara. Mid of a mixed bag, some Michelisha hoplites. Well, all our inactive stuff is still triggering alerts, but that's okay. They're there just to uh, maintain visibility on certain parts of the map, so I'm not overly concerned if they're not actively doing anything. Carthaginians and the Numidians are at it, understandably. Agent found by Lazora. They, they can't get enough of us, can they? Salona has grown. As has Sejestica. Titus Mamicus is spying very well. Can he pull back now? So it's tempting to take you guys and go hit them. Can you leave Sardis? No, you can't. Not really. I mean... If I take you guys out... Can I forward deploy some guys to Sardis? I can. They'll just about tolerate it. Pick up some more Town Watch. First of all, actually, let's check the building tab. Kaidonia is growing well. Let's get highways. Roads, you can get Temple of Mercury, Lovavum, Temple, Sardis can get a temple as well, and Pergamum can also get a temple to help cheer them up. So these men go up and put Nico Media to siege, but I want to take Amulus Victor, who is not my faction lead, I don't think. Faction leader's up. He's in Bilazora, I think. Amulus Brutus. Aulus Brutus. God damn, that's a lot of armored hoplites. The faction and faction leader. Eh, why the hell not? Although this is probably where it goes horribly wrong, and I lose significantly. Um, but let's have a go. Although I do fear I've moved cavalry out of my army right when it's the most at the most useful so I've still got one two three four five units it's not terrible I've still got a good level of infantry Novelites aren't also aren't useless and archers are also useful. Don't have to worry about loose formation because they don't have any of their own. I've got more cover than I thought. Yes. The 
This is it. The question is, are they coming at us? And they are. So my infantry need to have fire it well on. My archers need to be skirmish mode off. So I want to use my cavalry as expected to knock out as many of these armoured hoplite units as I can get my hands on. Just about get a hit onto these guys, I think. And then get them out. Deployed up here, because this is their enemy general. Engaging our cavalry over here. Killing the general's bodyguard is a no-brainer. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave. I need to get my infantry, my cavalry a bit closer to the centre to help out. We've got a lot of units here that are moving in to engage our front line. Shaken, wavering. Get out of the way. Ah, oh, that's, that's a lot of cavalry broken. At least we're, our cavalry's doing okay. That was not a good move in the centre. Let's run around and try and hit this unit of Moplites. Good, they broke. We've also got some of our cavalry back. Just go knock out these armored hoplites. Just get, keep checking to see if they are withdrawing or not. I don't mind if we do merge and hit battle lines. I think we've got enough mass to surround and cause them grief. Just. Yes, 
I just don't mind if I don't mind if they want to take it slowly for a bit because they do have the archery advantage. Cavalry just hunkering down on the flanks. Happy to just keep picking away at the hoplites they send to knock out my cavalry. Don't want to take... Because this is... Hoplites are scary, man. <laughs> Armoured hoplites are scary. I want my cavalry to have the best chance. So how many have they got? Units have they got? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Eight units of line. Like, not line, but... You know, men actually uh, able to fight. So I want to take this opportunity to pick out, pick apart as many as I can. Good. Those men charge the general's bodyguard. Okay, it looks like we're going into battle. So run some of my infantry around the flank, specifically with a goal to run a run around and knock out some of these men because my cavalry will not my infantry will not last alone They require that cavalry support. Especially when it seems like my cavalry can't actually be trusted to break a armoured hoplite unit from the rear. Like, my, they, they, these guys say vic victory is. Victory is certain. You want to go, is it? Should it be? You want to go, I don't quite know why you guys can be so relaxed about all this. Get my general out of there. Especially it looks like you can't actually you've got their units surrounded but it still says they are eager to fight and my men aren't actually aren't actually breaking formation to get into the combat that's the scary thing Like, we've got this unit surrounded, and why are my men not just going in and fighting, you know? Out the general. The enemy general is killed. Fear <laughs> right when they take ours out. Your general now lies 
is dead because of his foolishness. I know, but I had to throw him in because my infantry seems rubbish. Those men are broken, so what I want to do is run. These men around either flank of those soldiers. Actually, these my archers don't have any stamina left. Pff, charge into the rear. God damn, Prince pays aren't enough to make. Principes aren't enough. Like surrounding a unit with principes isn't enough to knock them out. I mean, lots of these guys. I don't. I don't. I don't expect them to do very much because they are just archers. And I'm throwing velites in there because, god damn, my. My men can't. I mean, I don't expect them to fight head on with these hoplites, but even when I've got them flanked, still not enough. Those men just got <laughs> one touch, was enough to rout them. Guard arm and hoplites are good. Okay, everyone else. Where's the. Why is there no withdraw button? Okay, let's run. You guys may as well fight to the end. Uh... Yeah, they are so done. At least, hell yeah. Peeler. There's, there's so many of them that are left as well. I mean, armored hoplites are really good troops, and you are just going to get smacked by them. I mean, who have all they got left? We've got. There's some archers. Velites of no missiles, who I can't make withdraw myself, I suspect it appears. So let's try gang up on this unit of hoplites. Those Velites are routed just at the site. Okay, let's just triple speed it and let them. Let what's going to happen happen. Damn! Amulus Victor, Amulus, not so victorious. God, those armoured ho ho hoplites are tough. And it seems like... Oh, I had like... It's just when I had those... I had troops surrounding their hoplites. And my guys just weren't fighting. They were just standing in their formation and getting stabbed in the face. Oh well. This is what happens. This is why I don't this is why I guess I'm just not I'm just not good enough to fight them in the open field. Pick up some men. I'm much better off, I guess, attacking them in the cities and letting them attack me back. There you go. Amulus Victor has fallen. Although I don't think it's caused a huge problem. Amulus Victor, there he is. Well, he saw two of his children die and one of them go mad. Poor old Amulus. See, this guy can't have any of his own kids. He just adopted three of them. But the true beauty eye line stays strong. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for another episode of the Brutii Campaign. Cheers, everyone.